Today on Montana Dana, I become a crochet hero and see how many beanies I can complete within 24 hours. Because what else are you going to do when you're traveling full-time and you get the vid? Subscribe for more full-time travel and apparently lots of crochet content. Oh, good morning. Today, we're making some beanies. Lots and lots of beanies. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, I want to see how many beanies I can make in 24 hours. Partly because I just got a ton of orders and partly because I just got a bunch of pretty new colors and I want to make beanies, put them on my website. Now, about a week ago, I had roughly 50 beanies in my warehouse. Um, um, um. And by warehouse, I mean my 7 by 10 cargo trailer she shed on wheels. Um. Um, um, I think I might stick to selling digital products. Can't really get into my living space. So we've already established that I'm a crochet hero. Which is why my living space is now a sweatshop. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. I can't, I can't. Um, everyone please order beanies so I can get them out of my, my van. Thank you. You guys did order a bunch of beanies, which I appreciate. But I did ship out a bunch of orders, so I got rid of about 20 beanies. And then I recently went to a balloon festival and decided to raffle off a couple beanies. And when I thought I was going to raffle off three or four, we actually raffled off the final 20. And being the crochet hero that I am, it made me very pleased to see my little beanies bopping around on people's noggins. No, seriously though, I was just happy to see people enjoying them. Was not expecting to give away all 20 of them. I was hoping to sell those, but okay, is what it is. My inventory went to zero, but my crochet hero status went to 100 that day. And now let's go back to today's video challenge where I want to see how many beanies I can make in 24 hours. So the goal is to make one of each color in the next 24 hours so I can then put them on my website and sell them in time for the holidays. So let's get started. Now I already crocheted quite a bit yesterday. Okay, so I recorded zero of the first 12 hours of this challenge, but I was able to make 19 beanies within 12 hours. My fingers hurt. No, but really, I've been just watching TV and relaxing and decompressing and crocheting, and it's been quite nice. And I'm slightly going insane and probably getting hemorrhoids from sitting for so long, but you know how it goes. Anywho, hashtag crochet troubles. But tomorrow I'm going to crochet for another 12 hours, and it is my goal to do better. My ultimate goal is 24 beanies, but that means I don't take like a walk or drink or food break. So I don't think that's going to happen. And I made 19 in a little over 12 hours. It was like a full day. So I'm going to document the final 12 hours tomorrow. So I'll see you then. So these are all the beanies that I made yesterday. There's quite a few of them. And today I want to make one in each color, just so I have one ready to ship. Out. And today I'm going to complete my Wool Ease Yarn Rainbow. This is the Thick and Quick. I ordered almost every color that Lion Brand held on their website. I got a couple orders last night, so I need to find certain colors. We got a mochaccino beanie order. Oh, we got an Irish oats order. Where are my Irish oats? Where is it? I just had it. I know it's here somewhere. There she is, my lovely Irish oats. We got an order for that. I got two mixed nuts orders, and then I got three orders of the pumpkin spice, but I don't have enough yarn to make all of them. So we might have to go to Joanne's later, but I'm gonna get to crocheting. We're gonna see how many we can make. I'm also gonna set a timer and see how fast I can make one beanie. I just want to get a little bit faster each time I make one. I'm also going to a van life get together so I want to have a bunch ready to go, ready to sell in case anyone wants to buy one because I was just at the balloon festival. It was so much fun but I got a couple orders there. I also had about 20 beanies that I handed out to people as part of a raffle. I was planning on handing about two or three out and um, people kept picking them and picking them until I was out which is partly why I'm doing this video. I need to replenish my beanie resources. So let's get to stitching. All right, so my goal is to make a beanie out of each of these colors before the stroke of midnight. I'm going to need all of the power of the crystals on my piano to complete this task. On a positive note, I get to watch TV and drink coffee all day. So it's not all bad. 
Also, I don't know if you've heard. I want to be a crochet hero. No, I don't. I just, I just love making these beanies. I have a lot of yarn and I need to sell them before the holidays. So another reason I'm doing this today is I'm making a crochet tutorial. So with one of these beanies, I will show you how to make it. And that should be available now if you want to make your own crochet beanie. So check out the link in the description. You can buy the pattern. The pattern includes a video. So $10 make you holla. I personally can't just follow a written pattern. It just does not compute. So I like to have a video along with a pattern. So if you want that, go get yourself one. It includes child, teenager, adult woman, adult man. So there's four different patterns included if you're interested in making your own. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get to work. But which one am I feeling? I haven't made this one yet. I forgot about this yarn and it's very fall vibes. I'm gonna try it. Give it a go. Coney Island, coming in hot. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay. All right, so beanie number one is done. It's so cute, I like it. Now I'm gonna get my orders done. I've got my Irish oats and my mochaccino hats. I do really like this color though. It's very fall vibes. What should we call this one? I'm getting like nature's first green is gold. I don't know, but it's very, very cute. Maybe I'll just call this one October. I don't know, it's got all the, the pretty leaves. It's super cute. Okay, I've made three beanies, taking a little food break. Yes, I'm doing finger food. Don't worry, I wash my hands. And I like to put on pretty smelling lotion, so when I'm crocheting, my work smells delightful. And not of pickles and mustard juices. Gonna take a quick little food break. Something about this is oddly satisfying. I'm an organization type of person. My Venus is in Virgo. I was raised by a Virgo. We like stuff organized. These are added to the beautiful pile of beanies that I have down yonder. Oh, I just realized this is going to be quite a long day. But I kind of need a couple days to decompress, so I'm happy. I just get a chill in my little bat cave. I'm going to an event this weekend. There's gonna be a lot of people there, so I'm just like enjoying some introverted time and gearing up to be sociable. <laughs> Okay, this is beanie number nine. I'm gonna go out for a walk. My eyes are bleeding. I'm watching TV, but I just found out that the person I've been hanging out with and staying in front of his place for the last few days, he has COVID. And I'm like, do I have COVID? Is that why I'm so exhausted and so tired? I don't know. I don't think I do. I've had COVID before and it hit me real hard, but. Cut to three days later. Oh, hello. I have the vid and I cannot breathe out of either nostril or hear out of either ear. Drove 10 hours yesterday just to come to a place I feel somewhat at home. Oh, that was two days ago and then slept all day yesterday and complained all day today. Good times, good times. Do my lips look like sun-dried raisins? Because they feel like sun-dried raisins. That is spiky. I think I'm going to go outside for just a minute. I have been watching TV for about five hours now, six hours. And as fun as that is, I think I just need to look into the distance for a little while. My eyes are starting to tweak out. Do you guys ever get that while you're crocheting? Cause you're focused on something this close to your face for so long. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk, stare off into the distance and get some sunshine before it goes down. I like this color though. It's pretty. Can you see it? It's got grays and browns, taupes, a little bit of blue hues. I like it. It's very pretty. I found another color. It's this bright marbly color. I forgot about this one. So I'm gonna add that to the collection along with this other marbly one that's got some pink hues in it. Oh, I'm very tired. Very, very tired. Oh, hello. I have the vid. Why don't I take you outside with me for a minute? I'll show you, I'll show you the view. Why are we not focusing? Hello. Do I need to wipe this off? I don't think there's enough light in here. It feels like it's getting dark. I don't think it is. It's just because I'm closed inside my trailer because it's windy and having the windows open is obnoxious. Oh, oh, oh wow. No, Jesus. Don't do it with windy. That's why I haven't been keeping my doors open because it's quite windy out here and it just blows them all over oblivion. Look how pretty my little beanies are. There's beautiful crisps. 
crystals shining all over the walls. It's lovely, really lovely. Do you see why I do not want to go outside? I'm gonna head in, say hi to my friends. They may or may not have COVID, but you know. Look how cute this hat is though. I like it, I like it a lot. Hello, my van, my friends, hello. I'm back and doing more beanies. I just realized how boring of a video this probably is for everybody. I just wanna see how many I can do. So I'm going to watch the Lorena Bobbitt documentary and keep crocheting if that is okay with you. Thank you so very much. I was sitting inside talking to my friends and it just hit me. I'm like so, so tired. I hope I don't have COVID. Anyway, that's my night. Ooh, I just got a ping that I got a beanie order from Jennifer. Let's go check out which color she got. Ooh, she got a pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is one of my favorites. So cute. And thankfully, I just ordered a bunch of pumpkin spice and I'm having it shipped to my next location so I can make more of these because it's a very popular one. Let's make Jennifer's pumpkin spice beanie. Yes, let's do that. Thank you for your order, Jennifer. So instead of making Jennifer's beanie, I felt like ass and slept for a couple hours. And so I crocheted for about seven hours and got 12 beanies done. So I'll finish up tomorrow when I'm not extremely tired and there's daylight. I'll catch up with you then. I'm not trying to be a crochet hero. I'm really not. I just want to drastically up my inventory. So we're getting there. Also, do you guys know where to order little like leather patches to put on the beanies? Because I've looked on Etsy, I know there are some, but you can't customize them as much as I want to. I want to actually put my logo on it. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Just a little like, like if it buttoned and if I didn't have to sew it on, that'd be ideal. Anyway, good night. See you tomorrow. Hello friends. My friend just got COVID and I've had the same symptoms. I always test negative for COVID though, always. So I'm a super spreader. Super spreader. I have a lot of work to do, videos to film, but I just really want to be somewhere I'm familiar with. I just want to know my surroundings and feel comfortable. So I'm going to drive to St. George, Utah, get rid of some of this stuff, put it in storage. Good times, good times. Get off a plane you can't hear out of either ear that's happening i just drove 10 hours it was supposed to be like an eight hour drive and it took 10 but i made it and actually nothing broke everything flew out of that cabinet but we're good nothing broke oh and we lost a curtain but that's easy to put up so we'll set back up in the morning and i think i'm gonna stay here for the next like two months no joke <laughs> let's explore southern utah oh hello it's a couple days later i'm on a strict diet of lozenges and ramen it's been great fun i'm a little more rested but i'm still very very sick so i have ceased making your orders until i feel better because i don't want my covid -y fingers all over your hats but i've continued making every color of the wool ease rainbow and i got a couple of really pretty colors in the mail so the ones I'm making right now are just samples. I'm going to keep them. I don't mind my covid -y fingers being all over them because they're just for photos. So I can show you guys which colors I have in stock. Check these out. This one we're calling Bluebird. This one is Sugar Plum. This one we're calling Berries, Sequoia. And then we have these two really, really pretty colors. This one is called Spiced Apple. And this one we'll call, I don't know what we're gonna call this one actually. I'll make it and we'll figure it out. But anyway, if you made it this far in the video, tell me what you think we should call this color of hat. I'm almost done with all my samples. And once I'm feeling better, which should be another couple days, I'll get back to making your beanies. If you wanna order one, there's a link down below. But right now I wanna time myself and see how long it takes me to make one of these. It usually takes about 45 
five minutes and then I add on whatever type of top. So about an hour, but I just wanna see if I push myself and go as fast as I can, how fast I can actually do one beanie. So let's give it a go. I feel like such shit. Doing van life during sickness is one of the worst experiences of my entire life. <laughs> All right. I finished at 27 minutes and that was with some Jedi Master Focus. I don't know if my eyes hardly left my beanie that whole time, but it doesn't include finishing it, like putting the bobble on the top and tucking in all the yarn, all those things, you know, but look at this pretty color. We're gonna call it Spiced Apples. It's very pretty. It's like a deep burgundy reddish color with some sprinkles of green. Oh, hello, I'm just filming a tutorial. Yay, so exciting. Um, if you guys want the tutorial, there's a link down in the description that shows you how to make this hat. And um, this is what you see in the tutorial and this is what you don't see. Hello, I'm just sitting in my van. There's toilet paper over there. There's some shipments over there. There's my trash over there in the background. It's just, it's lovely, it's lovely. I did though put some pretty nails on for you guys and um, candles and gemstones, yes please, yes and thank you. I love it, I love it so much. But yeah, if you want the tutorial, I made a video tutorial and I wrote out sizes for a child, teenager, a small medium adult, and a medium large adult. So go check it out if you want to make your own beanie. The yarn is about $10 for a skein and then the palm is in between two and five dollars depending on the size and how big you want it to be etc and then of course your hooks cost a little bit so um, whatever you need to get started the video and written tutorial are ten dollars if you just want the written tutorial it's five dollars so there is a link down in the description and I really appreciate you guys helping support my channel and my travels it really means a lot to me like you guys are the reason I'm able to do this lifestyle and create for a living and it's just it makes me so incredibly happy side note just wanted to let you know that I have COVID brain and I forgot what I was gonna say what did I want to let you know hmm, hmm. oh <clears throat> yes I'm still a little stuffy from COVID but I'm feeling better so I'm back to orders I will start making beanies for you all in the next couple days so if you want to order one link down in the description oh Here's the final beanie. I did it. I made 20 beanies in the last 12 hours. So I am officially a crochet hero. <laughs> no, but some of you were asking to see what the palms look like on top when they're made out of the yarn. So this is what that looks like. This one is called Blossom if you want to purchase. Also the yarn to purchase this online if you want to make your own is called Blossom. And then if you prefer a little fuzzy palm on top, I love this color. I'm calling this one milk and you can get them on my website or make your own. I love it. She's cute. She cute. Thank you so much for joining me in my crochet challenge. I took several days off because of COVID. So only one video this week, but we'll be back to travel content next week. Just needed to rest up. Hope so. you enjoyed this crochet content. If you made it this far in the video, write beanie party down in the comments and I will write you back. And thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. It really means a lot and looking forward to seeing you guys on Monday. Have have a great rest of your week and we'll see you then.